Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diamond. And I'm Trey. And today we're going to be making some bean chili. So, um, bean chili is perfect for the winter time because it's starting to get cold. And today we're going to be using ground beef, a pound of ground beef and we're going to bake a full pot of chili including any type of beans you have and you can use ground meat or ground turkey okay so first we're going to get started we have our pot heat turned on and we're going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil into the pan okay so we add that and in this bowl we have bell pepper, celery, and onion. And we're just gonna wait till that heats up, add this in, and we're gonna add a little minced garlic. We're gonna simmer that down, and then we're gonna add in the meat. So I'll check back in once that's done. So this is cooking down right now. I'm gonna wait till it's nice and soft, and then I'm gonna add in the garlic. And over here, we're doing, what type of beans? We're doing pinkito beans. Two cans of those, drain and strain, black beans kidney beans, some traditional pasta sauce, and then I'm also using this crushed tomatoes with basil. We have chili powder seasoning and taco seasoning. So that's always going up in there. If you don't have taco seasoning or if you don't have chili seasoning, chili seasoning is ideal. If you don't have chili seasoning, use taco. It's about the same thing. Um, just use what you have. It's going to turn out great regardless. So we're just going to keep letting that simmer down, let this simmer down. Once it's ready, I'm going to add in the garlic. I'm adding in the garlic last so that it doesn't, um, so that it doesn't get burnt. So the vegetables are, it's about 90% sweated down. I'm adding in my garlic and then we're going to add in the ground beef and then cook that down and then add in the beans. So we'll be back. So the meat has been drained and we added it in. Now it's time to add the seasoning. For seasoning, we have the Mexican seasoning. We have chili powder. We have our habanero. We have our habanero. We have all of this. Oh, I say habanero. We have taco seasoning. This is what we're going to use on the ground meat. And we're just going to season the taste because the seasoning is going to come from meat and then everything else is extra. We also are using garlic powder onion powder just have that in there and so currently my camera's running low so I'm gonna switch over to my phone but from here everything else we are we're just gonna dump it in after we add in all the seasonings we're just gonna dump in all the extra and we are gonna use corn too in this recipe corn is optional we're gonna add the corn at the very end though and yeah so everything else we're gonna add in just all in there. That's the tomatoes that go in. Everything else, the beans, this is all gonna go together, and that's the chili. So we just gonna let this get to the simmer, add in our beans, and then keep going from there. And we've been working on a medium to high heat this whole time. Low and slow. All right, so we waited for the tomato sauce and the tomatoes all started simmering and now we're ready to add in the beans. Okay, so we're season more to taste as needed. So we're just gonna let that simmer and do its thing and incorporate and if the meat get warm, then we're gonna just let that leave that alone and come back to it in a few, in about five, five to eight minutes. I just added in the corn. This is the 
finished product. We added the corn in the last step, let it just all marinate and marry together. And this is the final product. I put green green onions, aka what they call them? Green onions and scallions on the top. And yeah, that's it.